completely overshadowed, uh, I'm afraid to say. Ngozi Fulani, uh, this uh, advocate who was at the Buckingham Palace reception, has done media interviews over the last 24 hours or so, and one line which keeps coming up is that she is saying that the Palace have not reached out to her and she has not heard from Buckingham Palace. Now, from my understanding, people inside Buckingham Palace have reached out to her via um, uh, charities and organisations that she is associated with. Those organisations have then, in turn, related the palace's message to Ngozi, uh, saying that um, they're sharing their deep regrets of the unacceptable comments with her, and she's hoping that she'll engage with Buckingham Palace to discuss her experience. The palace is yet to hear back on that front, but they want to work with her um, and will, are glad to hear from her when she's ready so they can discuss in person and express their apologies in person to what happened to Ngozi. I think perhaps from the palace's perspective, doing media interviews and things like that really is adding fuel to the fire and they really want uh, this story really to, to go away so they really can focus on Prince William's Earthshot Prize, the Environmental Prize and the good which the royal family do globally across the world. Right, I have to tell the palace we will be interviewing Ngozi Fulani here on GB News Live in the next hour to get uh, the latest uh, reaction from her. But, I mean, it's interesting that uh, Ngozi previously has made comments about the Duchess of Sussex, accusing the royal family at that time of domestic violence uh, against her uh, back in March 2021, that comment made. And now, of course, we've got the, uh, the documentary, uh, Netflix documentary of Harry and Meghan. Uh, what does that tell us about their, their latest state of play out there? Well, we've got to question the timing, I think, of this Netflix documentary. They would have known that Will and Kate were here in the United States. Brands Wales, yes, but also very much about their environmental prize and their first visit to the United States since 2014, their first international tour as Prince and Princess of Wales. And it's yet another thing that's going to be overshadowing. That was what the cynic in me would say about the timing. But I think the trailer itself, I think we do actually have a clip of it. So I think if we listen to the clip and then I'll, I'll comment off the back. No one sees what's happening behind closed doors. do everything I could to protect my family. Well, I think there were certainly fears within the royal households exactly what would be in this documentary that Harry and Meghan have done with Netflix. And I think it's pretty clear now that both of them still very much have grievances still to air, not necessarily about the royal family, but particularly the press as well. There were shots in that trailer of newspapers running off the press. Harry said he had to do what I could to protect my family. Meghan is crying in one shot. She goes on to say, it does, doesn't it make more sense to hear our story from us. I, again, it's this idea of trying to control the narrative when it comes to Harry and Meghan, rather than the never complain, never explain, which qu the late Queen Elizabeth late Queen Elizabeth II so famously uh, had all of her life that stance on things and it's just another distraction from the work the royal family are doing and it's just another thing in the long list of media appearances that Harry and Meghan have done and are going to do so we've got this Netflix documentary coming out next week then in January we've got the first of Prince Harry's memoirs which if the title spare is anything to go by is not going to make for a uh, very positive reading and I think Buckingham Palace will not be commenting on this trailer as, as you probably understand and I think they'll just hopefully try and let it blow over but if you remember back to the Oprah interview back in 2021 uh, the palace did release a statement following those allegations where the late Queen famously said recollections may vary. Yeah, and, and of course we reflect that the Prince and Princess of Wales are there for Earthshot, but no doubt there will be those reporters and media commentators who will want their reaction to this Netflix documentary trailer. Yeah, unfortunately, the first two days of his visit have been overshadowed by things out of Will and Kate's control. We had the race row yesterday, and now we've got Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary. The palace protocol is you're not meant to throw questions at um, William and Catherine, 
Catherine, as I think the, the U, both the US press and the UK K press will try uh, and stick to that. But inevitably, there is going to be this undercurrent, isn't there, Mark, of the elephant in the room of Harry and Meghan's documentary, especially the fact that they live in California, in the United States, and the fact that they're coming over to New York in a few days' time, which is not very far away from Boston, to be perfectly honest, to receive this Ripple of Hope Award for what the, the prize organisers are saying is standing up to the institutional racism of the royal family. Who needs the crown when we've got the real thing unfolding on our screens?